Welcome to another edition of Pet Pals TV, and today we're going to have a little bit of a celebration. Oh, it's always a puppy party, isn't it? Uh, today we're going to celebrate, we got a couple of nominations for our stories on this show, Pet Pals TV, and we're going to relive them with you because we're proud of them and we'd like to share them again. The first one has to do with Officer Wren, an Indianapolis, Indiana policeman who was killed in the line of duty, and the only people allowed into his viewing at the funeral were Pet Pals TV people because we love our pets and the officer and his family knew that and they wanted us to be there, so here's that story. A somber celebration as hundreds of people came to this funeral home to pay tribute to Officer Perry Wren who was shot and killed in the line of duty July 5th, 2014. But this visitation of grief and remembrance is somewhat different. There are comfort dogs from a couple of organizations weaving their way among the mourners. Officer Wren was a huge dog lover and it was his family's wish that therapy dogs be present to help console those paying their respects. We have done this about a year okay. now and um, but it's kind of a new concept to funeral service and it's a, it's a way that we can give back to the to the families a little bit or grief therapy and for them to open up uh, during their time of loss. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Would you advise other funeral homes around the country that they should try something like this? I would. It has opened up a whole new door for us. People ask for the dogs. It opens up more uh, clientele for the funeral homes. Um, it's just a small little offering that's something that sets us apart uh, from other funeral homes. And you're a dog lover yourself, right? I'm a huge dog lover. <laughs> yes, I am. The handlers feel honored to be asked to this important gathering. The comments from our family about the dogs being here they could not get over how much help it was, how calm the dogs were, how quiet the dogs were because they stayed during the service. This, this is just a perfect opportunity to share. The dogs seem to feel the grief. You were telling me when you go home that Aspen is exhausted. Before we go home, actually, he will start showing signs of, of taking on all the stress in the room. and. And yeah, it is very exhausting for them, but they love the attention at the same time. So. But this is his job, so this he looks. This is his job. <laughs> it's an emotional time for all involved. Death is can be a very morbid thing, but death can also be it's the beginning of a new life. And <laughs> so don't let me cry. <laughs> and as we know, we lose dogs and we lose people, and we lose those people we love and. The animals bring a little bit back. Oh, come here. <laughs> yeah, I knew I'd do it. <laughs> I knew I'd do it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> here, she's, she says, come on. Lily says, bring it on, Patty. Thank you, Officer Wren, for your service, your sacrifice, and your soul. Pet Pals TV with Prison Cats, coming up. We recently discovered an international criminal organization with an atom bomb. The plot is get you in there and the rest is up to you. Shall we? After you. America teaming up with Russia. That doesn't sound very friendly. You and you have a new code name. That's rather a good one. Uncle. Smoothly done. You I'll turn it on now. The Man from Uncle Rated PG-13 Experience in an IMAX. Pets are part of the family. They enrich our lives. That's why Hoosier Village welcomes both you and your pet. Come visit our 300-acre campus with spacious homes, apartments for independent and assisted living, continuing care, recreation, activities, bike and walking paths, rooms to relax with friends, plus fine and casual dining. A tradition of excellence and financial stability. Hoosier Village, the pet-friendly senior community. Losing your hearing can be tough. There are some things you have to give up. There are some things you have to change. Although I can still enjoy my work in a one-on-one -on -one situation, hearing over the phone was a nightmare. Did yeah. we get that? I didn't hear that. I have a hearing disability. You look marvelous. Thank you. 
Now, my CapTel phone helps me connect with all the people in my life, whether it's for my job, congratulations, or connecting with new friends. So try a CapTel phone. It can make all the difference in the world when you see what you're hearing. It's still hard to believe Oliver just ran away. Why take the chance? Invisible Fence brand keeps tails wagging safely in the yard and off the streets. The signs are there. Homes are selling with Remax Centerstone. Remax Centerstone leads the market in sales transactions, and our agents are among the nation's best at matching homes with buyers. Find out what your home's worth for free at LetUsSellYourHome.com. We always try to make the best of a bad situation. That's our motto on Pet Pals TV. And uh, in this case, we have a story from Wish TV, our affiliate in Indianapolis, Indiana. And oh yeah, we're gonna talk about cats. Is that okay? These are shelter cats who go to a men's prison and they're made into pets. So it's a win-win situation. Within the walls of the Pendleton Correctional Facility, Men walk in lines to the cafeteria or their recreation time. Locked gates close behind them. But behind another gate, a different sight. This here is licorice. Inside an old office space, a dozen cats now live. Five carefully cleared offenders work to feed, care for the cats, and keep the place clean. I've had a, not a calm past, so, you know, it's, it's helped me calm down a lot and grow up, you know, and, and it feels good to just be able to help. As with animal shelters across the country, the Animal Protection League in Anderson is constantly full of animals. This makes perfect sense because we have untapped manpower in the prison system. We might as well use it so we can save these cats and the offenders get the benefits as well. They say one of the goals here is to get the cats out of cages. I deserve to be in prison. I committed a crime. But these animals, they, they, they live like we live in the cell houses in these cages, and they don't deserve that. So this place, now a cat jungle gym of sorts, places to lounge and leap, a cat sanctuary. Clover, go say hi. The cats are getting lots of interaction. A lot of them have come from bad situations, so it's helping them to be better with people. For the offenders who are in the maximum security prison for some serious crimes, the interaction with the animals provides positive moments in an otherwise tough reality. A love will change the characteristics, characteristics from uh, anybody's torture past. It could go the same for animals and humans, really. It instills a little bit of humanity back into me, because I've been, I've been locked up for over seven years. These animals, they help bring that back out. Hi, baby. So I've had offenders tell me that when they got an animal, it was the first time that they can remember that they were allowing themselves to care about something. Pretty powerful statement. A new partnership that's just getting started. Here, I want to say three things to these people out there in the world. What's up? Three things, adopt, help, and donate. That's what these guys need. In Pendleton, for Pet Pals TV, I'm Teresa Mackin. A couple of years ago, we had a wonderful story, received incredible attention. It was really a, a beautiful story about a blind border collie who was getting along just fine. That border collie was nine years old when we did the story, and Chica has just passed. But we thought you'd want to relive it with Joy Hernandez, who shares the story with us, and Chica, the blind border collie. Chica loves to play with her ball. Back and forth, this nine-year-old border collie doesn't stop. Martha and Buddy Knox got her as a puppy from a breeder in Illinois. Go get it! But when she was about six months old, they noticed something was wrong with her eyes. She had lexated lenses, which means the lenses weren't connected the way they should be, so we took her to Purdue University and they said that it would be very painful if the lenses were to detach. So. They said what they could do is they could either take her eyes out or they could implant human lenses like they do when people have cataracts. Chica had her human lenses for about two years. They never really could tell how much she could see, but in the end, it didn't work out and her entire eyes had to go. But Chica doesn't stop. Since she's had them removed, she just does fantastic. She goes out and she doesn't bump into things. Seldom. She won't bump into it the second time, but she just seems to get around fine. With, no matter where you take her, this farm, we have another farm, have a lake with a lot of trees, and she just navigates and has no fear of running as fast as she goes, and she, she does wonderful. How does she do it? 
I really don't know. I don't know if she has a sonar sense or, you know, I really don't know, but she, she just does great. And she loves exploring on her farm. There's a lot of work to do. Border Collies are very active dogs and she, uh, before she lost her eyes, she was, we were beginning to train her to herd the cattle. She would still do it. If you put her out in a pasture, she'll try to gather them all together. There she goes with that ball. The only time she does stop is to give her version of the Border Collie stare. You, you would swear she was looking right at you. There's no eyes there, but she, she just points her nose to you and just looks like she's looking at you. Joy Hernandez for Pet Pals TV. More Pet Pals TV coming right up. Through Saturday, get your new Toyota with triple the warning. 20 years, 200,000 miles. It's incredible. But you can only get your 20 year, 200,000 mile warning at Butler Toyota right now. New 15 Camrys, $159 a month with a 20 year, 200,000 mile warning. New 2015 RAV4s as low as $199 a month. And Butler has the hard to find 4Runners, Highlanders, and all wheel drive Sienna's you're looking for. Get the most for your trade in and the 20 year, 200,000 mile warning. At 96 and Keystone, Butler, Butler Toyota. Plan your escape with Classic Escapes. Classic Escapes excels at creating personalized itineraries for you and your family. We take you off the beaten track to exciting locations around the world. Call us today, 800-627-1244. Classic Escapes, taking pride in creating the perfect travel package for you. Call 800-627-1244 or visit our website. Classic Escapes, nature and cultural journeys for the discerning traveler. The Milano Inn has been proudly serving Indianapolis since 1934, and a great new tradition has been created. Thank you for coming to Pasta for Puppies. This is my fifth year, and I so appreciate what you're doing for all these necessary dog rescue groups. We're back again, offering the finest food at this famous Italian restaurant and extending another invitation for Pasta for Puppies on the patio. See you seven days a week for lunch and dinner on the patio with your puppies. Outdoor activities are a great source of exercise for you and your pet, but when accidents happen, you'll want immediate compassionate care for your four-legged friend. Noah's Animal Hospitals can handle any trouble your pet might encounter, from preventing parasites like fleas and ticks to serious hurts like cruciate ligament tears or even broken bones. We have the expertise to help your furry companion. With eight central Indiana locations, including two 24-hour emergency clinics, there's a Noah's nearby ready to be the best friend of your best friend. Our holistic vet, Dr. Kathy. You love Dr. Kathy? Yes. Dr. Kathy went to visit Steve Schweitzer. Steve Schweitzer is our chief photographer, and he got a new little puppy named Ghost. So there's lots of things to do when you have a new puppy, and Dr. Kathy's going to kind of give him some pointers, although he knows what he's doing. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy with Ghost. We are going to show you in a whirlwind, 120 seconds, how to do a holistic exam on a new puppy. So Ghost is about 10 weeks old. His family got him about two weeks ago and already some behavioral issues. They had to talk about potty training. Every 45 minutes, puppies go outside to go to the bathroom every time they wake up and after they eat. At 10 weeks old, Ghost can hold his pee about two to three hours at night, so that's a realistic expectation. Eight hours is not realistic. One thing that we do in the exam is we'll listen to heart and lungs, we'll check teeth, we'll make sure eyes are clear, we'll check body, how the joints are moving, we'll make sure because he's a boy that his testicles have descended. We check on everybody for umbilical hernias, make sure there aren't any problems there. Something that I notice on Ghost, and he's hopefully going to become an agility dog. He's a little bit crooked in his pelvis, so I would get him started on chiropractic as he's growing. Just like human children, they can have growing pains, that sort of thing. One thing that helps with growing pains is high quality nutrition. You're looking for a puppy food that doesn't have byproducts, that has meat and meat meal as the first several ingredients, and no dyes, that sort of thing. Other things we need to talk about in puppies. Uh, parvo and distemper are definitely present in most environments and so he does need to be vaccinated for that. You want his last vac yes! His last vaccine to be after 17 weeks of age because that's when the goodies from mama's milk have gone away. 
needs to have rabies vaccine and then other vaccines will depend on the puppy, where they live, where they go, what's the requirement, what's their exposure. Other things, ghost being a puppy, they can't help it, they get worms. First mouthful of mama's milk, even the best dewormed mom, they still get worms. He's gonna be a big boy, so the other thing to think about is if we're going to neuter him and at what age. The very recent studies show that the big dogs, the earlier you fix them, the taller they get and the more likely they are to have hip dysplasia. That's the last thing that Ghost's family want for him. They want nice, strong, healthy hips. So that again is a case by case basis. In some cases, dogs need to be fixed young because they have some aggression issues and sometimes it's good to take out the hormones. There are all kinds of things to talk about in a new puppy exam and as a holistic veterinarian I try to look at things from every perspective and what's the best health of the patient. I've also written a book to help everybody with that. It's a Kindle book called Healthy Possibilities for Your New Puppy. I'm Dr. Kathy. Thank you. It's Pet Pals TV. It's coming right up. Stay there. Okay? Okay. Pets are part of the family. They enrich our lives. That's why Hoosier Village welcomes both you and your pet. Come visit our 300-acre campus with spacious homes, apartments for independent and assisted living, continuing care, recreation, activities, bike and walking paths, rooms to relax with friends, plus fine and casual dining, a tradition of excellence and financial stability. Hoosier Village, the pet-friendly senior community. Outdoor activities are a great source of exercise for you and your pet, but when accidents happen, you'll want immediate compassionate care for your four-legged friend. Noah's Animal Hospitals can handle any trouble your pet might encounter, from preventing parasites like fleas and ticks to serious hurts like cruciate ligament tears or even broken bones. We have the expertise to help your furry companion. With eight central Indiana locations, including two 24-hour emergency clinics, there's a Noah's nearby ready to be the best friend of your best friend. The signs are there. Homes are selling with Remax Centerstone. Remax Centerstone leads the market in sales transactions, and our agents are among the nation's best at matching homes with buyers. Find out what your home's worth for free at LetUsSellYourHome.com. Barkefellers is the place for dogs offering the highest level of care. Overnight lodging from affordable to luxury to doggy daycare and obedience training. Barkefellers has three convenient locations to serve you. Call or stop by today for a free tour anytime we're open. Barkefellers is the place for dogs. The Milano Inn has been proudly serving Indianapolis since 1934. And a great new tradition has been created. Thank you for coming to Pasta for Puppies. This is my fifth year and I so appreciate what you're doing for all these necessary dog rescue groups. We're back again offering the finest food at this famous Italian restaurant and extending another invitation for Pasta for Puppies on the patio. See you seven days a week for lunch and dinner on the patio with your puppies. Back on Pet Pals TV as we continue our celebration of our Emmy-nominated stories. This one, boy, this, this was a rough one to do. Uh, we went to Louisville, Kentucky, Ramon Carrera, our show owner, and myself, and we chronicled a gentleman there who was painting shelter dogs who are euthanized to draw attention to their plight. And here's that Emmy-nominated story, an act of dog. Pet portraits are all the rage. And clearly, these are wonderful paintings. But there's something unsettling here. These dogs have a look of sadness. And soon, the reason is all too clear. These dogs are doomed. Artist Mark Barone quit his day job, emptied out his savings and retirement accounts a couple of years ago, and has taken it upon himself to paint the portraits of dogs on death row from around the country. In his Louisville, Kentucky studio, you see the faces of stray, abandoned, discarded dogs. Barone paints from photographs taken by shelter staff members and a memorial gallery on dogsindanger.com. At the project's conclusion, there will be 5,500 portraits, the lowball guesstimated number of dogs euthanized in the United States every single day. His project is called An Act of Dog. We wanted to um, put faces with that number, and we thought it was very important that um, people saw the souls that were um, being as 
you know, extinguished needlessly. And so uh, just to throw out a number was uh, very easy to do and very easy to dismiss. And I think when you start putting faces with the uh, animals, it's it becomes a lot different and a lot more uh, real about what's happening. Mm -hmm. So every animal that you've painted has been euthanized? Yes, every one. Boy, that must be tough for you to, to do. I mean, emotionally, as a pet lover. Yeah, uh, emotionally, it's, you know, it's, it's some days are better than others, but uh, yeah, it's tough, but I have always looked at the role of being an artist to actually have something come into you and then come out on exactly how you're, uh, a part of you comes out with the painting when you create it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important, you know, to actually look at these pictures and, and look at these souls and, and really interpret how you feel about that and, and, and what happened to them and, and, you know, really their last days before they, uh, you know, you know, got killed. His partner, Marina Devron, joins with Mark in her commitment to make a change. In fact, this was her idea. I am. I, I was really going, I went online to adopt a dog. And instead of finding a dog, I found out what was going on in our shelter system and really was appalled at the, the, the excuses that we're using to, con you know, to continue and perpetuate the killing, the number that, that we're destroying every day. So for me, it was just very emotional. I mean, I was just really moved and wanted to do something about it and presented it to Mark and it was hard for him to look at it, but then he did, you know, mm -hmm. within a couple of days, he came up with a beautiful solution and I was just blown away by his commitment. It doesn't make sense ethically and it doesn't make sense economically because the money that you're using to uh, take care of the animals while they are in animal control, you can't recover those costs without adopting them. So you are literally wasting money okay. and taxpayers' money. Okay. And I know that, you know, we were woken up to what was going on and we wanted to create something that would wake the, the whole nation up. We're waking the whole world up, but it's a wonderful thing. And so now people can say, hey, we'd like our tax dollars used differently. Right, right. right. Because right. I believe if, you, if people knew there was this solution, there's no question in my mind you know, or in our minds that people would choose the compassionate route. When completed, the paintings will hang 10 feet high and be as long as two football fields. Now Mark and Marina are looking for a city to provide the space so they can build a museum to house the pics. The hope is the display can make a difference. You can contribute or contact Mark through Facebook, their website, anactofdog.org, and also find them on our Pet Pals TV website. For our project, there's many ways that they can help our project go forward to help this continue, the educational part of it. And then there's also um, uh, a no-kill equation that we also refer people to, and, and that is also on our website. So uh, we ask people to either share, shop, or donate, one of those three. Do you feel this is your mission in life? Have you found what it is you're supposed to do. Yeah, this is it. This is it. A way to save one dog at a time. A plan to help many more. And a long-range goal to end the killing of shelter pets. It is an act of dog. You okay? You okay? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie always waited faithfully for you, but now that he's lost, it's you waiting for him. Put your mind at ease. Invisible Fence brand keeps tails wagging safely in the yard and off the streets. Plan your escape with Classic Escapes. Classic Escapes excels at creating personalized itineraries for you and your family. We take you off the beaten track to exciting locations around the world. Call us today, 800-627-1244. Classic Escapes, taking pride in creating the perfect travel package for you. Call 800-627-1244 or visit our website. Classic Escapes, nature and cultural journeys for the discerning traveler. It's in and out, no mess, so nobody knows who's been here. Not very good at this whole subtlety thing, are you?
special agent, you're not having a very special day, are you? The Man from Uncle, August 14. Experience it at IMAX. Rated PG 13. Outdoor activities are a great source of exercise for you and your pet, but when accidents happen, you'll want immediate compassionate care for your four legged friend. NOAA's animal hospitals can handle any trouble your pet might encounter, from preventing parasites like fleas and ticks to serious hurts like cruciate ligament tears or even broken bones. We have the expertise to help your furry companion. With eight central Indiana locations, including two 24-hour emergency clinics, there's a NOAA's nearby ready to be the best friend of your best friend. Barkefellers is the place for dogs, offering the highest level of care. Overnight lodging from affordable to luxury to doggy daycare and obedience training. Barkefellers has three convenient locations to serve you. Call or stop by today for a free tour anytime we're open. Barkefellers is the place for dogs. Lance Bass, you know who he is. He's a famous singer. Actually, he has a dog in this story that looks kind of like Mabel. You want to watch his story too? Lance Bass believes in adopting a shelter pet. And here's more. Well, I mean, as a kid, my parents always taught me that we needed to rescue uh, pets. You know, ad adopted dogs, insulted dogs, they're, they're, just, they're so appreciative and they're so loving and they're so beautiful. We knew that we wanted our dogs on our wedding from day one. Uh, so when, when we planned our wedding, uh, I was just so excited to be able to incorporate them yeah. uh, into it. Shelters are great. They do such a great job at these shelters in making sure that they're healthy and they have a wonderful place to sleep and it's well lit. Um, the shelters are fun to go to. Another big plus with shelter dogs is so much of the work is cut out for you um, when you get this dog. I mean, all these dogs, they're microchip, they have their shots. They're starting off at such a great point with your dog to move forward. And truly, I've never been so happy than I have been, well, apart from being with this guy, <laughs> uh, being with these dogs. Like, truly, nothing makes me happier. Like, literally, when we're out, you know, at dinner or with friends or even if we're traveling, all we can think about is getting back to our pets. If you want to smile every day, adopt a dog. These are our shelter pets, Foster, Lily, and Dingo, and they are amazing. And you can find your amazing shelter pet at theshelterpetproject.org. Pet Pals TV, we're all together now. We hope you enjoyed the show. We hope you have a wonderful day. And I think it's nap time here. So everybody take care. We'll see you next time on Pet Pals TV. Yeah.